What is good with y'all, man? RDK back here with another NBA 2K24 video, and we all play NBA 2K24, and you know, we get bored with it sometimes, whether we're playing my career, we're stuck in it in this loop, winning championships, doing stuff like that, or we're on my team, and we're tired of 2K scamming us on my team, doing the things they do to us on my team, and we get bored, and we get bored with the game, but we still want to play the game because we spent money on this game. So, whether you're new to the game and you just don't know what to do, or you've had this game since it came out, and you don't know what to do anymore, I got a list of fun things to do to kind of keep NBA 2K fun to play, I guess, in a sense, and maybe bring you back to the game and, and make you get on day after day again. So, without further ado, if you're new to the channel, you know you gotta subscribe and uh, leave a like on the video, and uh let's go ahead and get right into our list so something i like to do which is the first thing on our list that i like to do on 2k when i kind of get bored playing my career and i get bored of playing my team and stuff like that i make a my league with friends and family members in it uh, as created players so what i would recommend doing is creating your players from the home menu so you go to features and you will go to create roster from here, you could pick any era if you are on a new gen console, so Xbox Series X or PS5. Pick any era you want, it does not matter. I'm gonna keep it on modern, that's where we're currently at. And I've already made players, family members, and friends that I have in my league, so I'm not gonna create a new roster, but you guys would create a new roster. But for me, I'm just gonna kinda show you what I've done, and I'll go here, and from here, I will go to created players. So as you can see, I created some of my family members and friends here. They are all created players. And from here, I can add them to free agency by copying to free agency. And then as you can see, they're all in free agency now. And then when I start a new My League, I will make sure I have custom roster selected. I will select this roster. So make sure you save it as something that you can go ahead and find. And then you save it as this roster and you can either have them as free agents so when you start your season random teams will sign them you can put all of your teammates all of your friends and family on the same team which is something i've done as well and i actually have two different leagues i'll show you guys so if i go to my nba here and the first league i'll show you is my my league with my created players that are all on different teams so if i go to front office and roster i play for the orlando magic that's me um let me see if i can find i know someone plays for the jazz so i put my cousin jesse as a free agent and he got signed by the jazz as soon as i started my my league and all the created players i've created have all been signed onto teams so wherever they're at it's fun, you know, sometimes you get to play against him, sometimes you don't, but you can simulate the games and only play against him, and you can create as many players as you want. So if you have more friends and family than I do, then make 20. You can make a player for each team, 32 or 30 players, my bad. Now I'll show you my other my NBA save where I have all my friends and family on the same team. And this is the first thing I did, which is part of the reason why I only have 10 friends and families created because I put them all on the same team. So if you see, I go to my roster, we're all on the same team, which is the team that I created. Uh, I believe I took over the Detroit Pistons and then I changed the team name and rebranded everything to the Albuquerque Venom. So now we are all on the same team, as you can see and it's a lot of fun i go here and i go into my options and i go to <coughs> excuse me i go to position and i have it on player lock for my players so i'm technically playing my career or player lock and i'm playing with my friends and family same thing i do in my other league where i play for the magic i'm on player lock so i'm kind of playing like my career in my nba this leads me to my second thing you could play my career in my nba mode so if you if you're new to the game and you get on my career mode you'll notice that everything costs vc shoes accessories upgrading your player badges 
or badges don't cost VC, but you do have to earn and upgrade your badges. But if you want a more simpler experience, you want to be able to control your team. Because if you're in my career mode, you can't control your team. You can't make trades. I mean, you could do trade suggestions eventually. You could do uh, free agent suggestions. But in this, you have control of your whole team. So if you play for, say, the Magic, and you want to sign Donovan Mitchell after his contract has expired, you can try and make that happen by making your own moves, clearing cap space, doing things like that. And so playing my NBA in my league is a lot of fun. You don't have to pay VC for shoes. You don't have to pay VC for accessories. You don't have to pay VC for tattoos. You can create your player with any attributes you want, any height, any weight, any wingspan, any position. You could be a 5 foot 10 center. You could be a 6 foot 10 point guard. It literally doesn't matter. It's endless. Now, in my career, they cap you out on a lot of things because you are playing online against other players and they try to make it even and I guess fair for everyone else. So, this is a way to do that without having to buy VC. And really, what you do is create a player, like I said, from the main menu, add them to the roster. When you start your My NBA or your My League, make sure you select that roster and then you'll go to options. You will go to settings and then position and then you make sure your player is on player lock. Third thing you can do is play my career online with your friends. It's it's a lot of fun. You've played my career for many years, but you've never been able to have an online my career mode that you could play with your friends. You can't play on the same team, but you can each position control. So say I'm a point guard. I have my player locked on point guard and my friend is also in my my league my online my league he can be, create his center and he can be controlling his center only so what you would do there is just go to my nba and create a new save i don't think i have any room you'd create a save an online my league same thing make sure you have your roster created you load it in and then you invite your friends to your league make sure they're on player lock set rules set caps there's many ways you could do it me and my friends have done this where we can only start off as 80 overall we can only have one hall of fame badge for our first season and we progress throughout the seasons and we play user games first and then in our spare time we play the cpu and stuff like that um, if you want a full video on how to do that let me know in the comments another thing that you can do is create a my league online with your friends again but don't play any games you guys only act as gms me and my cousins did this on madden and we got through about four or five seasons and it was a lot of fun playing just gms signing players making trades trying to get your team to win that finals to win that super bowl uh, so that's what we did and you know you got to watch your cap space you got to really act as a gm make trades do smart things you know try to get your team you know stack draft picks all kinds of stuff like that we did that and it was tons of fun tons of fun another thing you could do and i'm going to delete i'll delete this save i don't play it no more but uh another thing you can do is any era you can do all these things that i'm telling you when you create a new my league you can pick any era that you want so if you want to do this my career online with friends and you want to play in the 1983s do that you want to play in the jordan era 91 you want to play in kobe era 2002 and you got the 2010 of lebron and then the current you can do this in different eras which is always a lot of fun um playing the 90s 2000s 2010s you know there's a lot of possibilities um it's endless so you can do the my career thing you can create your friends and family and put them in the 80s all kinds of things you can do uh tons of fun this game really the eras is crazy how they have all these rosters madden don't have something like this uh if they want to learn from 2k they really should because this this is big and the last thing i will say that i kind of have fun with i don't do it as much anymore but back in the day it was really fun you go to blacktop and you could do really any 1v1 2v2 3v3 4v4 5v5 it really doesn't matter and have a blacktop tournament so let's say we're doing a three on three tournament say we have 16 teams so we have 16 teams of three i'll do one point guard shooting guard that's one uh one small forward power forward that's two and then one center per team so you can randomize teams you can pick teams however you want 
build your bracket and then go ahead and have these teams play um, you could play as a team if you want you can also import your roster that you created with your friends and put them in the tournament with these other NBA players um, you can do it with eras so you can have you know you can have your you can have Michael Jordan LeBron and Kobe on one team I guess whatever rules you would want to do um, say you have Shaq LeBron and Magic Johnson on one team and then you have Kobe uh, Larry Bird and whoever Mutombo the possibilities are endless you can do 4v4, you can do 5v5. It's a lot of fun. Um, if the video helped, you know, gave you any ideas on what to do, leave a like. If you need more in-depth explanation, if I see enough comments for a certain thing, I'll make a video on it, why not? And uh, yeah, these are just ways to keep 2K fresh and keep it fun. That's all I really got though. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully gave you guys some ideas. Uh, make sure you subscribe and leave a like. That's it.